See the water? Going down in the tunnel. So today, I believe at 9 o'clock, I think it's today, there is the Honda Jet walkthrough. So they're letting us walk through the Honda Jet if I'm able to go. Now I have to talk to my supervisor about it. I believe I'll be able to go. And if so, and I'm allowed to record, you guys will be able to see the Honda Jet. If not, you'll just see my face again or something else. Cool. So I was a bit optimistic thinking that we were able to go in the jet. I kind of figured we didn't, but like I said, optimism. Just went and checked out that Honda jet. Very, very cool, very cool. So there's something I really want to talk about that I've noticed a lot more, more recently. And it's not, it's not at my work it necessarily. It's at places like if I go to a grocery store or any other retail store and you ask someone, Hey, how's it going? Or how are you? And they say, they, they have an answer like, oh, another day closer to Friday, or well, I'm at work. So, you know, kind of having that, that, that type of body language that when they say so, they want you to think like, you know, so it can't be that great. But it's like, if, if it's not that great, then why are you doing that job? It doesn't make any sense. There's only one scenario that I could see where someone shouldn't like the job that they're doing and, and that's if or, or they don't want to be at their job and that's if you know once they get off their job or before they go to their job they're working towards their goal the what what job they want so let's say you know someone's back in groceries and that person doesn't want to be back in groceries they're not having fun there so they shouldn't just if, if they're complaining they shouldn't settle and, and continue to complain if they're complaining then they should do something about it they they should go to school if they want to do something that requires a, a degree they should work on their own business on the side they should gain some type of skill that people are willing to pay a good amount of money for if, if they want to make a lot of money just don't feel like you're stuck you know just waiting to clock out waiting for the weekend because you can figure something out you know you have to do a short time you have to suffer for a short time for long-term benefit like people who go to college four years that's like imagine if you have to work full-time and go to college almost full-time if not full-time that's a that's a lot of work to get done in four years but that's a that's short suffering that they have to endure in order to get to their goals which for me it's to go into the industry of software development and then eventually have my own business. I, It's an easier path for me to go through college 
get my degree, go to the industry, and then create my own company. There, it's just, I just don't get why people are just settling and complaining. You know, if you're happy where you are and everything's all fine and dandy and you're not complaining, then good for you. But if you're complaining about not having enough money, you're not liking your job, then do something to make yourself more money legally or do something that you know will get you closer to that job you want i mean so right now what i gotta do is get dressed and go to the gym time to go by no means is this a workout or fitness channel but i'm going to go over what i do on a daily basis which is working out except for the past 11 or 10 days or so I've been out of the gym I haven't worked out like at all except for you know the activities I, I'll do at the beach or on my own which is kayaking surfing which that's a workout in itself but not not weightlifting not hitting squats or bench and stuff like that so that's what I'm gonna do at the gym so I know it's really loud in here but I just realized that I did not finished yesterday's video yesterday so I'm just gonna recap what happened after or at the gym and after right now so at the gym I didn't hit 315 for two I hit it for one wasn't really feeling it I didn't go up to 245 for one because I was really feeling 225 and I hit that for three sets of three and then I did not barbell row but machine row because it was all, most of the barbells were taken. It was, it was kind of annoying. But then I went and played some basketball afterwards and did some uh, jumping exercises as well. And then after that, Molly came over. She was at school that night. She came over at around 10.30. We went driving around the Norfolk area looking for Pokemon for about 30 minutes. And then at around 11, we returned home. And yeah, that's... That's pretty much how that day ended. It was a, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very interesting day to say the least.